Hi everybody, I'm Josh Constein here with TechCrunch TV, and today we're talking to Jack Minardi, the winner of Y Combinator's Hardware Hackathon. And he's built something that's equal parts Frankenstein, Terminator, and Nintendo Power Glove. How's it going? Thanks for coming in for talking with yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so what did you build here? Uh, we got uh, a glove. We had a, about 10 hours to build it. Um, and the idea behind this glove is it can take information from the computer, um, usually uh, uh, virtual reality systems take information from the user and put it into the computer. The idea behind this glove is that it can take information then from the computer and output it back to the user. Um, I think that's the, the key differentiator that we have. So the idea is sort of that you, you can put your hand in this glove and you can touch things in three-dimensional space in, in virtual reality. So when you would normally feel, you know, when you, normally you'd be able to, uh, in real life, you'd be able to close your hand around something, you'd feel the sort of tension, you wouldn't be able to close your fist anymore because you're wrapped around something. It does the same thing with this. Yes, it can, it can put your hand into certain positions so it can feel like you are grasping an object in 3D space. Cool, and so how does it do that? Um, right now, in this prototype, we just have a servo connected through twine to the tips of uh, the fingers, and that servo is able to actuate and pull back and open up the fingers. Awesome. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay. I'm, I'm excited to get my hand inside this thing. I feel like I'm going to become a cyborg and just <laughs> go on a murderous rampage the minute this thing gets on. But okay, so. All right, cool. So you can see there's little fishing wires or little uh, ropes attached to the different fingers and another little thing back here that pulls back when I'm grasped around something to give me yeah. tension. And right now you can close your fingers. So right now like it's as if I'm in open space. I can just close my hand. Um, and now as I approach this, this thing in uh, this virtual object in space, it forces his hand open. So you can see over here, he's got a little uh, depth sensor. And so the closer his hand is to it, it's as if there's an object there in space. So if he holds his hand just like that, it'll be like there's something here, invisible, in my hand. And my ha the ropes prevent my hand from actually gripping any closer. Yeah, so it feels move. like there's actually something inside my hand, even though it's just virtual reality. Yeah, and with nothing in the way, it, uh, it allows you to close your hand. Arr, I cannot close any tighter. <laughs> Three-dimensionality. No, this is really cool. I'm very impressed. So how, how, how did you build it? Like, it only took you a few hours to build this? Uh, yeah. Um, well, we had a team of uh, six people, and um, we had some people who were good at construction, some people were good at software development, some people were good at uh, hardware control. Um, and uh, we just came in with an idea, and then we uh, just executed and, and built it. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's this thing is hacked together with hot glue, duct tape, and and <laughs> lots, string. Lots of hot glue, and the brain is a <laughs> is a Raspberry Pi running um, Python. That's awesome. So, what could this be used for? Like, what kind of industries is this going to end up helping out? I think the two main industries that we're going for are um, gaming, um, be, which is an obvious uh, uh, application, um, allow you to feel objects in your games, and um, possibly medical. Um, I know that doctors sometimes do remote surgeries um, using robotics, and this could let uh, the doctor feel the veins or the arteries uh, or the bones that he's actually operating on, maybe across the world. So this is, this is really cool to think of that in soon in the future in a, in a video game when you go to pick something up on screen you could actually you know feel the shape of it yes. like you could feel the heft of a sword or you know the the dimensions of it and see if it fits right in your hand. Yes, I think. I think the next step we would, if we took it to the next step, we would uh, actuate each finger individually so that you could maybe rub your hand over a surface and explore it in space. Um, and I think that would be a very, very unique feeling. And for doctors, I'd imagine it, it must be tough, you know, to do surgery in, in the real world, you can feel when you reach something that's a little bit tougher. So like if you hit like a muscle or you know a bone or something, but when you're doing the virtual surgery using a robot, you might you wouldn't get that same sort of haptic feedback. Yes, yes, exactly. So with this they would be able to say like, oh I'm about to hit something harder and I don't want to cut, I can pull back and tell the robot not to do that because it knows that oh there's there's something there. Yeah. Yeah. We we want to augment reality through touch, which is uh, something that nature has taken billions of years to develop in our brains. Um, and we can, if we can tap into that signal, uh, I think it can be very powerful. And so you're going to keep on working on this now that the hackathon's done? Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, I think we, we were kind of validated by the fact that we won, and uh, people were very interested in this area. So I would like to definitely explore the, um, the haptic world more. Yeah, I mean, we haven't really heard much like this, and I, I think there's a lot of 
probably a bunch of the big game companies would love to have someone like you in their R&D labs <laughs> just thinking about what's next. I mean, if the Kinect is cool, but you can't touch anything in a Microsoft Kinect, this could be the next level. Exactly. All of the systems I've seen have taken uh, information from you and given it to the computer, like I said. Uh, now we can port it back to the person, the wearer, the user. Very cool. Well, this is Terminator here with uh, the hackathon winner from the YC uh, ha Hardware Hackathon. And thank you guys so much for, for watching, and I'll be out there to destroy you soon.